Two San Antonio police officers will walk the red carpet this morning at South by Southwest. They are being featured in a documentary about the mental health unit at SAPD. I sat down with the filmmaker and the two officers to learn more about the documentary called Ernie and Joe. This is that one from the state comptroller. They did an audit and he said that he was going to put a bullet in his head and then walk in front of a bus. Jennifer, congratulations on Ernie and Joe. Why did you name it Ernie and Joe? Uh, well, I knew I wanted to tell this story about the intersection of mental health and law enforcement because I think it's impacting everyone across the country. Um, but I thought in terms of a documentary, the best way to kind of tell that story is through characters. And so I picked two officers and decided to kind of tell the story through them. And I was very blessed that I ended up with Ernie and Joe because they're, they're great subjects for the film. Me, I'm Joe, and this is Ernie. He would put a bullet through the state comptroller's head? Not through his own. And then walk in front of a bus? Uh, he's got it backwards. So the mental health unit responds into the community for calls involving a mental health crisis. In addition to that, uh, we're also responsible for training the police department and surrounding areas in crisis intervention training, which is a 40-hour model in um, responding to mental health calls. Well, San Antonio is doing this really well in terms of how their mental health unit is operating, um, because I think this story is more about training police officers. It's not just that. San Antonio does a great job of training their police officers. A lot of cities. Uh, trained police officers, but San Antonio, I think, has a particularly good track record with collaborating with other agencies and the mental health community. And I think it's that collaboration that makes it more successful. So that's part of why I chose San Antonio. Since Joe's the veteran, Joe will take the lead on this. And it was a two year project um, that, you know, it was incredibly rewarding for us, um, also very intrusive. I mean, it, was, it's, it really does show a lot of our uh, personal stories are outside of the work, which, which I think was the goal. Go ahead, go, go ahead, go outside. No, 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 oh no, 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 God, I don't wanna go. Joe and I took it upon ourselves to, when we had to teach uh, officers their, their yearly in-service training, an eight-hour block on that was dedicated for mental health. And part of that block that we talked about was officer suicide, because we had recently had three um, police suicides in, in, a, in about an 18-month um, span. And you know, we tell officers, you know, it's okay not to be okay. It's just not okay to stay that way. I, I know, I know it sucks, man. You're not the first guy that we've helped, but you're the one we're helping now, my friend. I'd love every police department, every mayor to see this film and have a conversation with their community in terms of how do we deal with this? this, this we have real issues here. So I hear the documentary is about 90 minutes long. The screening is in Austin at the Alamo Ritz this morning starting at 1130. It plays again in Austin on Sunday at the Alamo Lamar at 3 p.m.